Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, Tony and I are about to start a detail on a 2016 uh, Ram Rebel. Check it out. So it's got some nice wheels on it. The interior is super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do a topside engine bay detail on this thing. Just get all the dust off basically and just uh, dress it a little bit. Um, you can see it's pretty dirty. Tires, fender wells, all that's pretty dirty. It's got a layer of black stuff all over it. I don't know if you can see that, but just generally dirty. Interior isn't horrible. Gotta wipe the headliner down and we're gonna do uh, some damp shampoo on the seats and on the carpets. Stains and stuff need to go away. Super sweet looking truck. All right, so that's it. <clears throat> Full shebang about to go down. So I'm going to do the uh, triple trifecta top coat on this thing after I polish. I am going to use impeccable polish today. Uh, some of you guys have heard me talk about it. It is a brand new 2022 polish. Um, I'm going to see on this big truck, big full size crew cab truck, how much polish does it take to polish the entire thing this polish is new for 2022 and it gets launched march 1st 2022 which is just in a couple of weeks uh the cool part about this polish is it's a do-it-all polish so my smart cut and smart finish are what you'd use if you want dedicated cutting and finishing polishes now this is right in the middle of the two it finishes like smart finish but it cuts just under what Smart Cut will do. It is pad pressure and speed dependent. So what that means is you can get more cut with a cutting pad and more pressure and speed uh, and less cut with less pressure, speed, uh, and that kind of thing uh, with this polish and a lesser pad uh, as far as mechanical ability in the pad. I generally use this as uh, one step a lot of the time with an orange buff and shine pad on the DeWalt cordless DA that you guys know that I use and love so much. Uh, but we're gonna give this a go. I'm not trying for defect removal. I'm just trying to enhance the gloss, but this is the best option if you want one polish that does cutting and finishing. Um, it's awesome. Uh, so like I said, I bottled this up in a two ounce bottle to see how much I would use to do a one step on this uh, ram. So super excited about that. And uh, I'm gonna get this uh, engine bay detailed and shut the hood. And I'll bring you back after I get that done because uh, I like to get that finished, shut it down and never have to open it again. Same thing with the interior. Uh, while Tony is working on the interior, I'm gonna be working on the outside. Um, we've got a good thing going on here. This is the lovely Tony yeah. and uh, we're gonna get to work, so I'll bring you back just shortly. All right, upon further inspection of this ram, I mentioned earlier that it had some kind of black stuff all over it. You can see all that. This stuff, I don't know, industrial fallout, maybe it's overspray. It's real hard to get off. Um, I just spoke with the owner and uh he gave me the approval to go ahead and knock it out but it's everywhere i mean it's i mean you saw the uh passenger side fender and here's the uh here's the uh bed in the back see all the spots it's real bad on the tailgate but anyway so i'm gonna have to remove all this crap whatever it is you can see it it's literally on every panel and it's it's hardcore man just doesn't want to come off even the clay isn't getting it off um i have been uh trying out universal clean and prep in a foaming sprayer and let me just tell you something it works awesome so the whole benefit of foam in general is to make this product stick 
So you get more dwell time, which means it's going to be more effective. So essentially, um, what I'm doing is spraying the door with universal clean and prep. It's actually breaking down all the dirt and grime and that kind of thing. I'm letting it dwell for a minute. Then I'll go in there with my washing towel. All right. Get it all cleaned up. Just like so. Now I'm gonna wash it again and then clay it. That was all the nastiness that came off that door. So anyway, overspray or industrial fallout, I don't know, but it is bad and nasty. There's, there you go, there's a good picture of it. So I'm on it and uh, we'll be back when I've got some more done. All right, so some detailers would take this job and they would say, oh, it's a big full-size semi-lifted off the ground truck where no one would ever see the roof. So I'm not gonna remove the contamination from the roof because no one will ever see it. Well, I'm not that guy and that's not how I do business. You can see I got Universal Clean and Prep here doing its thing. I've already done that back corner. I got the rest of the roof to do. Um, I am doing a rinse swash and using the foamer and universal clean and prep, prep diluted one part product to seven parts water. And uh, this is absolutely making quick and easy work of removing this. Uh, I'm a uh, quick and easy is relative, I guess. It's more elbow grease than I'd normally have to put in for a clay bar, like by a lot. But my point is, I'm doing the roof because you should do the roof. If you're doing any paint at all, you got to do it all. That's where we're at. So get it done. All right guys, so we've worked on this for a few hours now and she is finally looking awesome. Uh, it's had some repaints on the whole back end there so that rear door and the bedside have been repainted. But we got the fender wells looking all nice and clean, scrubbed them down and we hit them with transform dressing. Got the tires and wheels nice and clean. Uh, clean the barrels, hit the uh, tires with transform dressing, diluted 50-50. I also wiped down all the trim with transform dressing, diluted 50-50. Your side steps, your uh, fender flares, these bumpers, front and rear. This thing looks awesome. Super awesome. Um, I cleaned up the engine bay. I got all the jams looking good. Um, I hit it with transform dressing. So I did a top side engine bay detail, which basically just means I use universal clean and prep in the foamer. And then I used my brushes and let it dwell. And then I took a damp towel and basically did a rinseless on everything after that. Get all the top side clean and uh, for the most part debris free and once that's good and clean and dry then i hit it with transform dressing diluted 50 50 and i usually just leave it there to soak in because it's actually going to penetrate all your hoses your wire casings your plastic trim and it's going to uh, help retain some elasticity so it doesn't get brittle and crack with all the heat that it takes on uh, i got the whole front end all wiped down with transform dressing diluted 50 50 I polished the headlights. I washed and decontaminated the whole vehicle. All of those black specks are gone. Paint looks awesome. I'm pretty sure I showed you this fender before and it was just nasty. But I got all the black stuff off. It was heavily or heavily contaminated but it's good to go now. Um, <clears throat> we did a damp shampoo on the interior. All the seats got damp shampooed. They look pretty good. Vacuumed it out, wiped everything down, hit the door jams.
looking good so that's it <clears throat> 2016 Ram Rebel crew cab donezo alright guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching these videos and listening to me babble I appreciate you uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you want to be a part of bigger something bigger than detailing, that's where you need to be. Um, great group of people in there. Um, more than willing to help answer product questions or process questions or whatever. Uh, but get in there and you can learn about my products, the new products. You can also get uh, in that group. I do a lot of promos and that kind of thing. So if you want... Uh, special edition products or products that are, are, aren't are released yet, that's where you can get those and find the deals. Um, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. And again, we can, uh, we can actually, <laughs> we can detail anywhere. We're in a parking lot right now. I did a rinseless wash on this vehicle. Um, I bring a generator, water, everything we need to get things done. And uh, if you need me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. But this has been a uh, Dodge, or I'm sorry, a Ram Rebel detail. Uh, what I did on the outside was I washed, I removed the overspray, whatever the contamination was, I removed that. That was a pain. I used Universal Clean and Prep in the foamer to dwell on the surface and break it down. Then I used my uh, Japanese clay bar I sell at detailjuice.com. Uh, with the Universal Clean and Prep at 1 to 7 foamed on, I use that as the lube, and it, it just knocks out all of it. So if you ever want anything that will remove ferrous metal particles or heavy contamination, overspray, Universal Clean and Prep as a lubricant or even Infinite Purpose Cleaner, uh, and my Japanese clay bar is awesome. So uh, after that, I uh, went ahead and polished this whole truck, I used about three quarters of an ounce of impeccable polish. Uh, I showed you earlier, I brought a two ounce bottle. I used less, less than one ounce to do this whole truck uh, with an orange buff and shine pad. So I did the one step on it and then I applied Super 7. We were going with the triple trifecta top coat. I had to add a little bit to the deal uh, because of the con contamination and the extra time. And uh, I offered, just because I had to raise the price a little bit for all the contamination, I wanted to sweeten the deal and I upgraded them from Triple Trifecta Top Coat, our three-year coating, to Super 7, our seven-year coating. We also did the full interior on this car, fender wells, wheels, tires, engine bay, all of that, and it's done. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. Have a great day, guys.